This week in the Imperial Valley, the 9-11 Memorial Stair Climb Committee looks for more participants for the 20th anniversary. Camarena Memorial Library receives shelf of new and diverse titles. And a Central Union High School student was detained after an alleged gun threat. I'm Alexis Soto and this is your Desert Review Weekly Webcast. Old Glory will once again hang from the fire engines and teams will climb up and down the grandstand steps of the Imperial County Fairgrounds as the 8th Annual Imperial Valley 9-11 Memorial Stair Climb will be held this Saturday in Imperial. Participants have a choice to repeatedly climb the steps along the drawn path or walk the 1,980 steps for those with physical limitations. The event is free to attend but those who wish to memorialize the fallen must register online or in person that day for $30. The fee is a donation to the National Fallen Firefighters Foundation and FDNY Counseling Services. Click the link in the description to register. Camarena Memorial Library in Calixico announced the addition of 18 new titles to adorn the shelves of the library with the intention of offering a diverse coverage of inclusive reading material. The books are available to the public after the California Library Association partnered with the California State Library for the ELF project. A total of 36 books were sent to the library. Library manager Lisette Legaspi explained the importance of seeing both sides of the coin regarding the new books. She said readers can see representation of others that look, speak, behave, dress, and eat like them. They are encouraged to celebrate that which makes them different. On the other side of the coin, they are encouraged to be compassionate and sensitive to those around them who look, speak, behave, dress, and eat differently than them. Following a physical altercation at Central Union High School last Friday, a student was detained due to alleged threats of bringing a gun to campus. According to police reports, two students were in a fight at the school campus and police were asked to be involved when one of the students abruptly left the school's office. The reporting party put in the call after being advised of a potential threat with a possible firearm on campus. Police then located the student and detained him in handcuffs after having the school locked down. The detained student denied making a formal statement and his residence was searched with the consent of the mother. No weapons were found at the house. This webcast is brought to you by One World Beef Packers in Brawley, where they've supported commerce in the Imperial Valley with more than 650 jobs. For information on these stories and more, check out our free website at thedesertreview.com. Remember to like and follow us on Facebook and Instagram, and pick up our weekly paper at a location near you. I'm Alexis Soto, and this is your Desert Review Weekly Webcast.